Lil Mark on No Time for the Small Talk. Well, you remember I start from scrums. <laughs> when, when I was 15, you know, I did music, you know, and I, I, I didn't really understand the industry. And when I grew older, now I'm 19, you know what I'm saying? So um, I just elevated and elevated and, you know, big up to my manager, Danny. So, you know, good so, job. So are you traveling outside the country as well? You, you working on your music, getting it out there in that market, or is it already out there? Well, you don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I just came from upstate, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm aiming for the road to riches right about now. Bro. I don't blame you. you know yeah. what I mean? It's all a start, you know yeah. what I mean? Because I, I believe you're going to make it, bro, because mm-hmm. the, the first step is to do something. And you know what I mean? You, you have a vision, you have a mission. So even in dance hall music, they have messages in music. You know what I mean? What, what is your message to the people in the music? Well, my message is mostly positive vibes, but you know, <laughs> no, no person can style me. So I sing any kind of song for everybody. I sing for the gangsters, I sing for, you know, for the girls, you know, big up. I know a few names of people that was like big in that culture. Name some that inspired you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I grew up here in Dancehall, back in my country. Okay. That's in the so and soca, but mostly all the bands I play Dancehall, you know. Cool artists. Um, they play like, like Vibes Cartel, you know, <coughs> Massacre, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them kind of people that I grew up listening to. I'm What's that, Popcorn, right? Popcorn, that's right. Yo, he got jokes. Nah, man, he definitely got jokes, man. I thought feel like Drake should've did something for him. That's me. <laughs> Mm. You know what I mean? But we leave we that thing. That's, that's above my paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get back, but that's a fact though. Like if you if you gonna take the vibes and everything, put the nigga on the fucking album. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's just me. You know yeah. what I mean? Fuck it. You know what I mean? So like um who are some of the artists you looking to work with? In the future? Oh, wow. Well, well, I'm looking forward to work with Tory Lanez. Okay. Just, 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 just him for right now, you know? Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure with the anchor, I can see that. Tag the motherfucker, because you know what I'm saying? Because it's not like it's rap, yeah. and they'll understand like you're not faking it. You have the voice, you, have, you can't fake it. Nah, yeah. Something could be faking it. Yeah, that's You know true. what I mean? But, you know, I don't think you need auto-tune or nothing. Yeah, I think it's the real thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, any clubs you rocking out of right now? Well, I uh, do a lot of shows, you know. Recently, um, they be hitting up my manager and saying, yo, I want you to perform Coast to Coast Live. Want, want me to perform sometime in February. So, yeah. we'll be moving forward to Miami, Florida. You know what I'm saying? To, to I'll be back in my country, too. You know, big up everybody from Vincey. Tune in on Tuesdays for more No Time for the Small Talk.